right, so here I am again. And uh, as you have heard Zalan's great presentation, we are trying very hard to, <clears throat> to offer a lot of automation tool uh, that can save a lot of hours and hair pulling for all of us. However, what we also learned along the way is that it's not always, not always possible. So because of that, as we have heard today as well, is that uh, it's very it's very much possible that uh, external help is needed. So some of you are coming from a, a larger LSP, with localization engineers and even proxy experts on board, but some sometimes it's uh, it's not the case, and it can be that uh, you are you are uh, you know very good in terms of sales and and marketing, and you can bring on board new clients, but actually with uh, uh, the proxy or in general with uh, website translation, there can be a lot of challenges. So here are some that uh, we are very much familiar based on your, your feedback, like cost predictability for the client. It's very, very difficult to explain, explain them uh, about the traffic and uh, it's not easy for them to verify after that, but why? is the, that amount of traffic and also about the pages and requests and traffics and bots so basically what we decided uh, and learned from that and based on a lot of hours we spent on the the, the support channels is that uh, maybe it's time to step up but let's just go through one by one before we get to the conclusion so the very first uh, inherent problems is that uh, with the proxy being in place and server-side translation, unless we jointly decide to go for the cloud-side translation we presented yesterday, is that there is um, an inherent difference between page views and requests. So basically a page view is something that uh, um, a marketing type of person would consider when a visitor is going to the website, sees a page and that's one page view for sure. But what uh, we had to be aware of is that the single page view is composed of multiple page requests. All those requests, as a default, are reaching the server throughout the proxy, hence generating a lot of requests and a lot of uh, load and hence um, like uh, cost for, for the proxy. So we have to charge it. And uh, it is very difficult to, to determine in advance like uh, how to reduce this and also how to count for it. But what's very important that there is a solution for this. One strategy certainly is to apply proper cache headers, which can improve a lot these multipliers and the cost factor as well. And also to involve a global content delivery network or translation delivery network, which is part of the system anyway. Um, but that can also be sold to the client that uh, as a proxy feature such uh, global networking global content delivery network so this way their translated pages can be made uh, available very quickly to people living all around the globe and uh, this is something if they were considering a single um, server operation or maybe a wordpress operation or whatsoever but otherwise they that would not be available to them or maybe they would not have thought of that at all. The other important bit is that uh, we hear a lot is that uh, uh, when it comes to, to pricing and charging and invoicing and such uh, inconvenient topics uh, to be discussed, is that people uh, tend to believe that whatever Google Analytics or uh, similar client type, uh, client side uh, metrics they see is the single source of truth. But the problem is that the, the any kind of traffic that is generated by robots tend to be invisible to Google Analytics. Uh, at the same time, it can be a significant major cost factor, especially when a new site is launched to like 30 new target languages. And uh, from the ROI point, they are very happy that uh, Google, Bing, Yahoo, and Yandex, they all like visit the translated pages and all the target languages. Uh, but sometimes it comes at, with a cost. So if the site is not properly configured, these visits to all the pages across all the target languages can be a significant bump, uh, especially early on uh, of the life cycle of the, of the website. 
So that's why we, we decided and implemented the stale content for bots, which is available, but on one hand, it had to be sold to the clients, the concept. Uh, on the other hand, it had to be enabled and used uh, across the project. Uh, all in all, it's still, we felt that it is still not enough. However, uh, our pricing structure with proper configuration is the lowest it can be because we really only charge for what we, uh, we have to pay for as well towards Google. We also learned that uh, we have to come up uh, with different pricing model. Uh, just yesterday, we have heard from Jan that uh, sometimes clients significantly more happy to pay a, a fixed fee, uh, maybe even fixed for a year ahead, uh, than having um, a variable cost, especially if their early estimation is not correct. So what we what we came up with is to to configure a website properly, and if all these configurations are done and we can agree on a yearly commitment where an overage is uh, anyway had to be calculated, but that can be part of the next year's pricing discussion, then we can take this risk. Uh, so if you are task, you are, the, of course, we are sharing this information. So on one hand, this is something that you can uh, share with your client, do all these configurations yourself, because as always, there is um, these settings and these this knowledge we, we are always happy to share for free. And uh, if you are sharing it with the client and apply it yourself, then uh, you can use these at no extra cost. However, what we came up with is a managed setup, the fixed, fixed price quote. So if you want us to take the risk and do all the configurations and uh, be able to provide you with a fixed uh, Google Analytics based pricing for the client for a yearly uh, commitment, and then we are very happy to take this responsibility and take this risk uh, with only the condition that we do the setup. So if you task us to do a managed setup as part of our professional services offering, then we can tell it in advance by having a look at the website, like how much for how much we would be able to set up the site for you. And then within this fixed price quote, uh, which is actually just based on a, um, an estimation of hours that we will be spent on it, we can guarantee that if there is any complication or any, any uh, request, which is which was part of the original one and we had missed it, then we are ready to make good for it. And also this way, if after if at the, the point of publishing, we are in, involved and we take care of it, then we can make sure the site is properly configured and then we take all the risk um, of um, improperly configured website. So this way we can move as an alternative pricing structure from the, the current uh, measurement or current concept. So right now, again, we are charging based on the number of requests which is served by the proxy. So from now on, uh, our new offering is that the, the basis of the charging can be an estimation based on whatever number is visible in Google Analytics. And the only requirement for that is that, um, of course, uh, if it's not available, then we have to install like a Google Analytics into the site, but we are happy to do it. We have to install and configure the site ourselves as part of our uh, paying service of this managed setup. And also we require to be able to communicate with the client. And so that we can ask these questions and we offer a written quote and, and um, a possible contract either to you or to the client. This is certainly still uh, at your disposal, so you can make your choice. And uh, this way the client will be able to verify whatever uh, page views uh, happen to the site. There is no more talk about uh, multipliers and page requests and so on, because we will be able to, to figure this out early on as part of the, the setup. And also this fee, this way, the, this generic fee will include the, the content delivery network again, as a, or translation delivery network, if you wish for the client. And uh, this way we hope that um, it will create a more generic um, 
pricing option uh, suitable for everyone. I know this is not still not the same as uh, I am Yon asked for, so it would be very very difficult to require further data analysis to be able to provide uh, uh, a flat fee with no information on the actual page view. But we hope that this is one step closer um, to to make it easier to sell to the client. And on top of that, as part of the professional services that is available to you, so that we can uh, work on the pro proxy migration, meaning if the client uh, has some kind of existing translation solution for the system, they have a TMX, then we are very happy to play around with the segmentation rules so that uh, the, a major part of the TMX can be used or reused um across the the entire site another possibility for the professional services is the layout fixing so on one hand this um, x80 and x130 uh, proxy options that we mentioned yesterday and we got this um, question about that today as well this is a great hint to simulate how fragile or how rigid the the current layout of any any website um, the x80 proxy would be able to, to give a hint if uh, any kind of translation which is shorter than the original would break the site. And the X130, uh, meaning that the text expansion is like 30% more um, than the original, and the X80 is 80% is, uh, of the original. So with this, we can simulate if uh, a longer text, like German or whatsoever, compared to English, would break the site layout. And if it happens, then there are certainly two possibilities. One would uh, make it more from the translation field to the transcreation. So asking for a little bit shorter translations could definitely help. But if it doesn't doesn't work like that, then it's always possible to, to play around with the site layout, uh, try to use smaller fonts if the usability permits, um, or just try to rearrange the site a little bit. This layout fixing that we, we can deliver um, is also very useful if it comes to left to right and right to left uh, website localization issues. There we have seen quite interesting situations. So we, we this this can really require uh, quite a few hours sometimes to, to adjust. And last but not least, uh, we have been always asked that despite the fact that uh, uh, Salan and the support team does a, a very good job, but we offer no guaranteed response time for the for the support tickets. So for all, all of you who, whenever it's uh, it's really a requirement, then we can uh, happily you know discuss and offer guaranteed support SLA uh, because the why the the critical system wide issues are diagnosed and handled all the time because it affects everyone. So we definitely. Um, familiar and we keep an eye on it for sure. So that requires no extra cost. But if you have anything where you, you need us uh, 24 uh, hours a day and seven days a week, uh, then uh, we can offer like guaranteed uh, availability um, at certain costs with a, a priority prioritization of your tickets coming into the, to the support system. So basically what uh, we would like to make it easier is to, to so you that you can focus more on, on selling and we can offer a hand with all the technical details and uh, our experiences and expertise in the actual setup and coating and configuration of the proxy. So you don't have to worry about that. But again, this is an additional service. So we still offer easeling as it was before. So as an SF service mode, where everything is charged based on the usage. However, from now on, uh, it is also available in these uh, managed setup at a fixed price. And on top of that, with the professional services, where on, an, on a, um, an hourly basis, we can carry out these works for you. And we can offer like written quotes um, ahead of time. And we can certainly stick to it. I hope this will make it make life easier and uh, you can focus more on, on the sales side and we can help you deliver uh, a great result to the client.